What's going on guys? Alex with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Tempest Knives Microburst prototype. So this came in from Casey over at Knives Fast. Uh, he was awesome enough to let me check out one of his prototypes and man oh man, I love this knife. Uh, this thing is fantastic. I did get one in on the pre-order um, and this has just made me that much more excited for my personal one to come in. Um, because this thing is just, it's so good, guys. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Casey over at Knives Fast, if you're not, um, he has a knife company called Tempest Knives. He already has one knife out there, and that is the Pinion. Uh, this came out, I think, in the fall of last year. Um, I've had this one. I pre-ordered it. Stone, like the stone gray blue. Um, love this knife. It's fantastic. Definitely a, you know, interesting looking blade, interesting looking knife, but I, I love it. It's really a fantastic budget blade. But spoiler alert, I love the Microburst more. Um, it's just, the, the design speaks to me. Uh, overall, I love that blade shape, nice big belly, choil, um, just a better size for me. It is, I believe, right around a three inch blade shape. Um, so you're getting a nice, you know, smaller package than the pinion. Uh, and that's not the, you know, the shit on the pinion. I love the pinion, it's fantastic. Um, but this thing is just something about it just really speaks to me and i was you know i, I was really excited for the pre-order I, like i said i jumped in i think i got this specific version um and when casey you know i reached out to him and asked him if i could get one in to check out and you know my name came around and i finally got one and i was so excited for it to come in um, i didn't film an unboxing because i didn't have a whole lot of time that day that it came in or that weekend i think it came in it came in on like a friday or saturday um so i filmed a little bit of a short um so this is probably the first time maybe some of you guys are seeing this on the channel but it, it's so good um i, I keep saying that but it, it's just fantastic i love the ergos on it um it's just so comfortable in hand and again that size is just like perfect for me um you know fit and finish action on it detent like everything is it's so well done and this is only the prototype so the, the final production version is going to be better um it's just it's it's really really well done um a fantastic design by casey uh i really have to give him you know hats off to you casey you really knocked this one out of the park i think this you know it's just really really good and i'm, I'm very happy to you know have a pre-order in um and now i'm just you know as soon as i send this away i'm going to be sad and i'm going to be you know um, counting down the days till you know the pre-orders arrive but again, this is the Tempest Knives Microburst. Um, the pre-order is still open, so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below if you guys are interested to tempestknives.com. Uh, there are two different versions. So there is this one with the stone wash blade, black micarta, uh, but then you have the um, titanium backspacer, titanium pot clip. Uh, I love the like the spoke, the five uh, five point spoke pivot that Casey does on his knives. It's a cool touch, kind of a little maker's mark that he does. Um, so there's this version of it, and then there is also the black micarta with a black wash blade. Um, so it's it's not DLC, but it's a pretty dark black wash, and then you have black wash or uh, DLC coated hardware and clip as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So like I said, they are still available for pre-order. Um, they're going for $88.99, so sub $90 on this. I think that's a great price. Um, they're being made by Kubi, so Kubi is a um, uh, obviously a budget brand sort of uh, they they sort of venture into the higher end stuff but they typically make like 50 to 150 dollar um you know sort of budget branded uh designs but they are the ones who made the pinion i believe and they also i believe made the um devo knives mash that i love so much so kubi is really knocking out of the park recently um and i've had a few kubi models in the past that i really like um fit and finish they make fantastic Action is always really good. Um, so Kubi is a, a great brand. So I have to applaud Casey for going that route again. Um, he has not yet decided on the blade steel yet, but he is leaning towards one or, uh, 14C28N. I think before he was tossing back and forth between 154CM and 14C28N. Um, either of those would be okay with me, but I really do like 14C. I think it you know holds a great edge and it's just a really good you know sort of sub $100 steel to use. Um, and then these are looking at late March to early April for delivery. Casey is hoping towards late March, but he is putting April on there for last case scenario or worst case scenario. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're kind of went over the materials already, but we're going to jump in. Um, 
Casey is calling this beautiful blade shape, I believe a drop sheep. So, so a tall drop sheep, AKA modified sheep's foot. Um, I love the, the drop sheep name. Um, you have a nice wedge building up top here, a beautiful, lovely big belly, um, a nice choil here. Blade stock thickness is, you know, right sort of, sort of in the middle, um, but with so much belly, it comes down to a great thin edge. Um, and this, you know, blade shape is just a very good slicer. Um, you know, that geometry is fantastic. I didn't cut a whole lot with this because again, it's a prototype. It's not my knife. Um, you know, but I did cut some paper, you know, open some packages, um, did a little, you know, few things around the house like that, you know, very light use. Um, but the blade shape is just really, really good. Um, I love, you know, how it just comes down to a nice thin edge, nice flat grind. But again, I really like how that swedge is built up top there. Um, so that is a tall drop sheep. The, uh, excuse me. Prototype, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there, is in D2, but again, this is going to be probably in 14C28N, which I can uh, definitely appreciate. I love that steel. Then you have black micarta back here, again, with the um, five-spoke um, pivots that Casey does. I really like that. I think that's a fantastic maker's touch. Um, I've always really enjoyed how he put that on his knives. Um, comes with a loop-over style deep carry wire pot clip, and I do believe these are going to be set up for lunch clips um the opinion was so i'm assuming he is going to do the same thing for this uh, but i love just the simplicity and you know the the usefulness of the wire clip just because it's so unobtrusive it's so out of the way um, from an ergo standpoint it's great and they're just really easy to use and i, I love them um, i love how he you know puts them on here the opinion had one um, so even if they are set up for lunch clips which again i'm, I'm thinking they are i'm probably going to keep mine the same um, just keep the wire clip on there just because I really do love a good wire clip, but um, titanium backspacer with a little lanyard to, uh, lanyard post for you lanyard fans out there. Um, there is some internal milling on both sides. Looks like there are two small pockets on the liner lock side, and there are four pockets on the show scale, show scale side. Uh, this weighs 3.25 ounces. Um, oh yeah, so to go on here i was looking on the website and the lynch northwest spider co wire replacement clip does fit this knife so that is confirmed um but 3.25 ounces i think that's a fantastic weight for this style of knife and this size of knife uh three inch blade definitely in that perfect category for me um and it, it basically weighs nothing you know my tarta is a very lightweight material um so all in all you know no complaints there but um the liner lock feels great um it's on bearings and I think that's all for materials. Um, so we're going to jump into action, which is one of my favorite categories of this knife and one of my favorite categories in general when I'm reviewing knives. Um, but the D10 on this thing is stout. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but if you guys can hear that snapping back into place. Um, the thumb flick rockets out of there. Just fires. Feels really good middle finger flick and it definitely like it's a stout detent so i don't know um there wasn't anything in the changes category that casey sent me on the detent um i don't know if he's planning on maybe reducing that a little bit um but i really you know don't i would keep it like this um it definitely does take a little bit to get used to and it takes a little bit for your fingers to kind of get used to you know applying that much pressure because i don't have a ton of knives with like super stiff detents um but this i mean you're getting solid deployment every time and it just thunders out of there nice the whack nice thunder um you can of course slow roll this but you do have to pop it over that you know onto the detent track um and then for drop drops to your nail you can micro shake it close drops to your nail or you can bang it close once um again this i think this walked a little bit or this was a little loose on me so i did tighten it up um, but there is no blade play and if you're still getting you know that good of action um you know think of how good it would be if you added some lube to it you cleaned it up because again this is a you know pass around this has probably been to five six seven people before me um you know maybe added some skiffs because i know when, when kevin gets his in he's gonna add skiffs to it but actually he might already have one i don't know if casey gifted him one of the prototypes um but yeah this thing is just action is just really really good um i love you know fires out of there thunders out of there And it's not going to be a guillotine just because of how good the D10 is. Um, so, I mean, it would stay open like this the whole time if you wanted it to. But 
you know, again, some micro shakes to get it closed. Feels good. Um, and that just, it's such a stiff detent, but it just, wham, thunders out of there. Bang. Like Neves Knives like to sit, likes to say. Um, but yeah, all in all, action is chef's kiss. Casey, you killed it with the, well, Kubi killed it with the action, but Casey, with your design, with your thumb stud placement, um, all in all, feels fantastic. Uh, and I have to, you know, give it a two big thumbs up on this one. Um, so next up is Ergos. Ergos are so good on this knife. Um, you obviously have a very generous Ford finger choy right here. Um, but even if I'm not using that and I'm, you know, kind of holding on to the knife normal, my index finger goes right here and the rest of my hand follows suit. Uh, you have some jimping right here to use. I don't think he's going to extend the jimping at all because of how the swedge is built on top there, which is okay with me. Um, I love how the swedge feels in hand and, and looks from an aesthetic standpoint. But even if I'm not choked up, it feels really good in the hand. Uh, you have that wire clip. It's not, you know, giving you any hot spots. It's not, you know, causing, um, you know, anything to be sort of pokey, pricky, whatever you want to call it in your hand. But the real, the real treat to me is choking up and you just have all this real estate. So you get your finger up here and then it just feels so good. Like it, this thing feels so locked into my hands. Um, you know, the micarta has a nice feel to it. Kubi does a great job with micarta. Uh, there's no like hot spots. It's nicely rounded, nicely chamfered in all the places that it's supposed to be nicely rounded and nicely chamfered. The, again, the clip doesn't cause any hot spots at all. Um, I just feel like this thing is just stuck in my hand. Um, pinch grips work great with this style of knife too, especially with this blade shape. You can just get right down in there into labels, packages, um, you know, envelopes, whatever you're going to be cutting with it. But the ergos are just are a home run for me. Um, you know, really this, this knife in general is a home run and it seems like every category I'm talking about, I've been giving just tens out of tens, but it's hard to argue with when, when a knife just fits in your hand so well and it just kind of melts into it and you're like, damn, like this thing feels fantastic. Uh, and that was really, you know, how I felt about this knife. As soon as I picked it up, as soon as I started fidgeting with it, I was like, man, this thing is so good. Um, so, you know, it comes with a great weight, you know, about three and a quarter ounces, 3.25 ounces. Um, again, my carter feels great. You know, no sharp edges or anything like that. Just all in all, a very ergonomically friendly knife. Um, and it just melts into my hand. So um, again, another two big thumbs up for you, Casey, on, on the ergo department and your overall design on this knife. But uh, next up is Carrie. And this thing, again, you know, spoiler, it's, it's going to be a good positive, you know, review on the carry. Um, you know, drops into your pocket. No flipper tab, no sharp edges or anything like that going on right here. Um, I was going to, you know, wait to talk about the changes at the end. But one changes he is doing is he's adding a um, left ability um, for carry because he did not have it on there for the prototype. So he's just going to add a um, section over here to put the clip on, which is very, you know, um, very easy to do. You just got to put the, put the screw on there. And it's definitely... A nice touch for the lefties out there to be able to carry a lefty but um you know it's lightweight it's a it's a great size it's perfect um it's very slim i mean it, it's a little tall this way but it's nice and slim um you know overall again just a perfect size um you know i feel like there's not really too much to talk about with carry you know it drops into your pocket you have no flipper tab like that um it pretty much goes to the butt end of the knife with the, the wire clip you have a little bit sticking up out of there but you know that's not a complaint at all um i have no qualms with that um, yeah, so I've carried this in my front right pocket, my jeans and, uh, my gym shorts around the house a few times and it carries well for both of them. Um, so really the only thing that's going to get changed with the carry is adding a lefty, um, clip area to put the, to switch clip over if you're lefty, but, um, all in all carry again is, is very well done on this. So that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. Guys, go buy one, go run to tempestknives.com link is in the description go buy one there are two different variations going on of course there is this one with the stone wash blade and i believe he's changing the hardware to well i guess this is shiny so it's not really stone wash the the hardware is satin um so you get a stone wash blade black micarta um wire clip and all the hardware is satin or you can go and get the um black wash blade which is just a really dark uh, it's not a dlc but a dark black wash 
uh, and all blacked out hardware with black micarta just go get one please um they are so worth it this is i, I can't wait for mine to come in um he is also selling micarta scales with the rain motif milling so he had some um pre or prototypes that came out with some milling going like sideways onto the scale um you guys can find that on the website as well but you can order those for 20 bucks if you're interested in you know it's, it's the same black micarta scale but just with like or uh, diagonal milling going on um you know that i could have taken it or leaved it um he was going back and forth on what he wanted to do for the actual scales for the pre-order knife um and i had kind of just decided like okay if you wanted to go with that for the scales for the knife itself i was still going to buy one um but i don't really i don't personally see the need to go buy buy them just because um i like the scales how they're done on here you know just fine um, but if you're interested you can definitely go check those out on the website as well and 20 bucks for my card scales is, is pretty damn good so if you are interested it's not like you're going to be charging you know spending another 40 50 bucks on scales they're only 20 bucks uh, and i think they'll come in with the knives as well but yeah definitely definitely go pick one up um casey is a fantastic human being um he's really a, a pillar of our community and i'm glad to be friends with him i'm glad to be you know um, associates with him and i really just think he has a fantastic design um on his hands here like i said i cannot wait for mine to come in i think it's going to be you know i already am going to say this right now i think this might be my budget knife of the year granted it's only the end of february so we still have you know 10 months to go um but right off the bat i think for anything sub 100 this is already you know in the lead by a wide margin just because it's so comfortable in hand you know the action the fit and finish um you know your materials you're getting just all in all it's a fantastic package um and i i'm really in love so like i said i'm, I'm gonna miss this whenever i go to ship it out to him uh i'm trying to get to the post office later so it's gonna be a sad day for me but uh, it's just going to make me wanting my, my you know, production version and waiting for it that much sweeter, um, but that much harder at the same time. So um, again, I can recommend this knife for $89.99. I don't know if it's going to be more. Um, I'm assuming Casey did order some extras. So once the pre-orders come in and once he ships those out, he might do a drop of them. Um, he does still have some pinions on here. If you're interested in those, he has this color pinion. And he has the um, JG10. Those are going for $81.99. But again, I'm assuming uh, maybe the pre, uh, the uh, once he gets some extras in and does a drop, maybe they'll be closer to $100. I don't know for sure. Uh, but I'm guessing he will get some extras in to do a drop. But the pre-order is still going on. So go get one now. Go, you know, get one for a cheaper price point. Um, you know, um, that gives you a you know guarantee that you're getting the knife. So it's just go buy one please go support casey um he's again a fantastic person i'm glad to be you know pals with him um and casey thank you so much for loaning this out to me this thing is an absolute dream um you know it's it's already probably one of my favorite knives in the collection um and that says a lot because not that i have a whole lot of expensive knives but i have some pretty i have some pretty cool knives in my collection so far um and i just think it's fantastic i really do i love the microburst it's just a, a winner 10 out of 10 um you know i just I, I really don't want to continue to ramble and say that i love it but i do it's, it's just so so good guys please go buy one please go support casey um links will be in the description down below and i'm gonna wrap this up because i'm starting to ramble uh, but i did a lot of i did a lot of raving about this knife no no uh ranting at all um but yeah so i'm gonna wrap this up uh, as always links in the description down below to blue creek knives and barnscraft designs uh use code 814 edc to save some money off at both of those sites helps me helps helps you helps me helps the companies it is a win 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 um but leave a comment down below if you guys pick one of these beauties up um, i'm i'm really hoping you did and if you're on the fence jump over the fence and go buy one um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching i greatly appreciate each and every one of you and i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day morning night whenever you're watching this i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace